boys and girls, welcome to our DBAE Down on the Bayou culminating day. We've been listening to some great Zydeco and Cajun music over the past few weeks, and today we wanted to share with you some of the interesting facts about this wonderful music. Both Cajun and Zydeco music are associated with southwestern Louisiana, and they do have similar sounds and they use similar instruments, like the accordion and the fiddle. Today you're going to see a few video clips that feature these instruments. Zydeco and Cajun music are different in a few ways too. Zydeco began in southwestern Louisiana and it was influenced by African and Caribbean rhythms. Zydeco is faster and it has more of a pop music feel. And it's a little easier to dance to that music. The rub board was invented specifically for Zydeco music in 1946. The French word is fortois, which means percussion strip. When you're playing the fortois or the rub board, Players would use spoons or any kind of metal that they would strum or tap the rhythms to. Now, on the other hand, Cajun music is a much slower music. It's more of a country type of music. It was developed by people that moved down from Nova Scotia into Louisiana. And in Cajun music, it has more of a waltz feel to it. So today, as you're watching the videos, listen for these two different types of music as you enjoy your culminating day on Down on the Bayou. Hi, how y'all are? You know, down in the southern part of the United States, there's a place called Louisiana. Over the past 200 years, all sort of different people have come to live there. People from France, Germany, Africa, from Caribbean islands, from French Canada, some folk from the country and some from the city. Well, all these people put their different kind of music together and made a whole new kind of music that we call Zydeco. Now you just listen here, you're gonna love this, I guarantee. Here we go. One, two, allons! I can sing high I can sing low I can sing very, 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 very fast Oh, slow I can shout out loud Or whisper low However I sing it It's out of code You can sing your note weak You can sing your note strong You can sing your note short You can sing your note long You can sing a You can play bass, you can play drum, you can use a washboard or guitar strum. Terrence Simeon and I'm a Creole from South Louisiana and I play a style of indigenous music from South Louisiana called Zydeco. Creole for Kids in the History of Zydeco has been presented to over a quarter of a million students from around the world. The Creole for Kids in Farmance and Educational Performance is created for grades K through 12. Based on a classroom hour, the informants both educates and entertains. We are 
the 300 years the Creoles have been in South Louisiana, this music has evolved. The first recordings in Creole music was done acoustically, using only the accordion and the fiddle. In the late 40s, Zydeco music began to fuse with different styles of music, jazz, blues, and early rock and roll. The two main instruments in Zydeco music is the accordion and this instrument, the frottoir. The frottoir is an instrument that was created for Zydeco music. And we bring along several different sizes of this instrument to fit the different size kids. A hands-on experience like this really helps the kids retain the information that we share with them during the performance. Okay, the Creoles are the black and multiracial French-speaking people of South Louisiana. In my family, the Simeons have been in South Louisiana since 1738. I'm part French, African, Spanish, Native American, and German and most of the Creoles who live in South Louisiana are, are pretty much of that same uh, ethnic mix. At the 50th Annual Grammy Awards in 2008, we were the first Zydeco band to perform. We also were the first band to win in the new category for Best Zydeco Occasion Music Album. Our artists had toured, performed, and recorded with some of the top names in the music industry. With people like U2, Eric Clapton, the Dave Matthews Band, Paul Simon, Stevie Wonder, and many more. Today's article music has become an important part of the musical landscape of this country. My factory, people say this is a, if they would come to see my factory, it's a little bit bigger than a telephone booth. You, you got to walk outside to change your mind. That's how small it is. Y'all came on a good day to where I have pretty much everything hanging. Um, over here starts with the, uh, the pro custom boards, have the designs on them, these three on top. This is my uh, 20 gauge pro custom, which is a top of the line board, the heaviest board, this 20 gauge stainless steel. These are the same same boards, but the, I call it the standard. They don't have the designs on them. Uh, this one here uh, uh, is the one I designed for Rihanna. Uh, this is a little lighter gauge. This is 24 gauge stainless steel. And this is the child size board. This is the new ones that I was talking about. For the younger players that are playing the Nouveau Zotico, they call it, um, this is kind of the stuff I think they're gonna like because it's a faster board. And then um, these are my miniature ones, what I call the T-Don boards, um, that I sell a lot, a lot of these at festivals and they're, they're really small and compact to where you can you know just carry it around. Yeah. This is a new, a new thing that I come out with. This is a, a drum board and what it does, it hooks up to your um, cymbal stand on your drum set so you can play it and it comes with a mount. Uh, I'll have a mount that I put on here and then you can mount, your, mount it on your cymbal stand and play it, which is pretty cool. My rub boards, they're all made out of stainless steel, uh, high quality stainless steel. Um, all of these bins are uh, bent by hand. Um, 
it's all manually done. There's no power to the equipment that I use. It's a homemade uh, bender that I use. And then uh, after I bend it, well, I etch. I got an etching machine. I etch uh, the number of the board and the date was made right here. Time it was made, my website and all that goes back here. And then I bend the arms like, like they're supposed to be and um, pack them up and ship them out. This is one of my, uh, my T-Don boards, the mini board. Uh, that's made out of the same material as the others. Uh, and I'll just do a little demonstration. Now that's a, a Zotico beat. Then you got you got your waltzes. Too. And then uh, the old traditional Zotico beat was pretty much like this. Uh, it was in those days. It was accordion, rub board, and drums, or just accordion and rub board. But this is a fast. Uh, kind of a Clifton Chenier type Zotico. This is the resolution up here, um, declaring uh, sunset the uh, rub board capital of the world. It just happened this year and they gave me the key to the city. This is my Smithsonian documentation. I have them in the Smithsonian Institution since 2001. On these walls here, all of these little red tags are, um, they're all numbered. So this is some of the rub boards that I have overseas in Europe. And this map over here uh, is the one in the United States, which I don't I don't put stickers every time I sell one anymore because it's some places that I can't, I don't have room to put it. Over here is some of the celebrities uh, stuff like that. I got uh, ZZ Top stuff. He gave me one of his picks. Yeah, he doesn't give them out often. He told me, he said, I'll give you one, but you got to promise me to never sell it. After the interview's over, I, I got to get to work and, um, and pack up this rub board, which is going to Poland. That one's going to be going a long way. Hope I, I wish I could get in the box with it, but can't do it. It's key of Z rub boards, a guarantee. Not the rust, bust, collect dust, rip, rattle, or come apart at the seams. That's how we do it in Louisiana, baby. Hey, Cousin Randy, you ready for a little bayou out of coal? Ready when you are, Cousin Ray. All right, Lulu, let's get to it, dog. One, two, three, four, going down the bayou. got a very special guest I want to bring out here now. This is little Hunter Hayes. What you gonna do, Hunter? Um, I wanna do uh, something called um, Jambalaya. Something called Jambalaya. Sound good to me.
Welcome to Martin Accordions. Uh, this is a family business here, and uh, my sister and myself, we work for my dad, and we've been building accordions for about 30 years now. This is our showroom, and uh, I mostly work out in the shop. I make pieces and parts, and uh, when I get them uh, sprayed and finished, I'll bring them inside, and my sister and my dad take over uh, doing the final assembly. This is our showcase. These are what you call Cajun accordions. It's a 10-button diatonic accordion. It's made in the Cajun style. We also repair piano accordions, triple row accordions. One of the common repairs that we do on an accordion is we can change out your bellows. Okay, we order these bellows from Italy. This is made out of cloth, cardboard, and leather, and metal. When the tourists come in, we have seating for up to 100 people here. And uh, my dad plays the steel guitar, and Penny, my sister, plays the bass guitar, and my nephew plays the accordions. They explain the history of accordions, the culture of accordions, uh, how accordions came to Louisiana. All these accordions uh, are accordions that are in the middle of being repaired. Some of them are already sold and they're being assembled, and all of these over here are for sale. We offer different woods, different colors, you know, different, different embellishments to personalize it for your taste. That's a picture of my dad and my sister uh, posing with buckwheat. And my dad has been in the music industry all his life, so he knows all of them. This is a 10-button Cajun accordion. Every accordion maker is going to put their name and their uh, logo on this part of the accordion. This is what we call the faceplate. And you can see our name is Martin Accordion, and we have a crawfish logo. And if you ever see a crawfish on the bellow, we built it. We have a copyright on that. Uh, this is what you call a diatonic accordion. In other words, when you press a button, and you spread the bellow, you're gonna make one sound. When you close the bellow, you're gonna make a different sound. It's just like a harmonica, sucking and blowing. You make two different sounds with the same, with the same note, with the same key. This is a Zotico accordion. We do a lot of work on these. Uh, we don't build these, you have to order these from Italy. But a lot of local musicians bring them to us for repair, and they are very, very complicated instruments. Whoever designed this was a genius madman. Uh, it's incredibly complicated when you take them apart, but we do repair them. We also have here a concertina, okay? This is also of the accordion family because of the bellow. These Cajun accordions, uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, a musician, he'll have two or three or even four or more. Uh, what it is, each one is in a different key. You know, that's why you only have 10 buttons uh, on, the, on, the, on the accordion. These accordions, uh, you can play in any key. So that's why you have to have so many bass chords is because each row represents a different key. I'm gonna bring this into the shop and uh, show you some of the parts in there, how we build them. Uh, and so you'll understand where it goes at on this accordion. So if you can come with me. Okay, this is where I spend a lot of my time. I have a bunch of base boxes here that I just finished gluing together. Uh, they still have to be sanded and, and cut and shaped. The finished product is going to look like is going to look like this side of the accordion, the finished base box. The frames of the accordion. Uh, this is what glues on either side of the bellow. I'm going to be sanding this a lot more. This has to be smooth, smooth, smooth before I can stain it and finish it. This is one of our clamping tables. We have a lot of specialized uh, jigs and tables for making various parts. And this is designed to where all our parts are uniform in size and they're all perfectly square. So what we do is we put the frame together. And we can clamp it in the table and it'll all come out perfectly square and all uniform in size. The best compliment I've ever heard about our accordions is their consistency. Um, people have picked up our accordions in France, in Germany, in England, in Canada, and they all play equally well, and I'm proud of that. Uh, you know, uh, it's a big compliment to us.